Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am going to be talking today about a couple of different plants that I honestly never thought that I would own, let alone end up loving and wanting to buy multiples of. So I'm going to show you those plants today and I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> I recently got into begonias. Oh, hi, Bob. There you are. A lot of these plants are toxic to cats too, by the way, in case you were wondering. So I am going to do a video on um, pet safe plants and then things that I do to get him to stop eating my plants because somebody is a dirty little leaf nibbler. Right, sir? He wants to eat everything on this table right now, but a lot of it is really toxic, so we're not going to do that. If you've been paying attention to my videos, then you would know that I got into begonias recently, and I just kind of like, oh, hey, go. Um... <laughs> I got into begonias recently. Don't eat the plant. Life with cats and plants. So <laughs> I got into begonias and I bought a bunch of them. And the most recent one I will be showing you guys in my next plant shopping video. I'm kind of just obsessed with the... I guess the angel wing or like cane begonias, they're different than the rex begonias. I don't know why, but these ones are just easier for me to keep alive. And I love their little leaves. Do you see all the little baby leaves? Well, these little baby leaves are so cute. I love the back of them. Got these cute little pink dots on the leaves. And I mean, honestly, it's just, it's super stinking cute. And I like the shape of it. I like how it grows vertically. Of course, sometimes they do get really tall and top heavy and people will cut them back. I, if you watched my video where I'm trying to rescue one of these begonias from Lowe's and propagate some of it, my propagations have not necessarily been very successful and I don't know why because everybody told me it was really easy to propagate them in water. I put them in the greenhouse because it's warmer in there and I thought that they would be happier. I don't know, but I will update you guys though on how like the whole entire plant is doing because it did come back to life. It's just the cuttings didn't really want to root. so. Still haven't quite figured that out, but I mean, it's stunning. It's really what it comes down to. If you would have told me a year ago that I would have all these begonias and that I would love them as much as I do, then I wouldn't believe you. Period. And then the next plant. Honestly, I never thought that I was going to enjoy this genus as much as I do. And I do think it's just this specific type, but... And I don't know what it is, but they're like the, the ripply ones. Anyway, <laughs> alocasia is where I'm going with this. This is my black velvet. I have a handful more. I just haven't really shown them all to you yet. And I have a plant shopping video coming soon where I found a few wish list alocasias. So I don't want to spoil it for you yet. So this is my black velvet. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the newest leaf. It grew in much taller than the others, so I started giving her a little bit more light than she was getting before, and I'm hoping that maybe the next one will come in a little bit shorter, because I do like that they stay compact, and these leaves, I mean, look at the texture. They're very hardy. I just, I feel like they're a lot easier to take care of than some of my other allocations that... I've murdered. My tiny dancer is still alive, but it just has like a couple little baby leaves, so I don't know if I'd consider it like happy. You know? I have this one. I have the Maharani, which is very similar to this one. It just kind of is like a gray 
and it's not velvety. I don't know. This one's one of my favorites, though, and it was only $20 at Nelly's. If you watched my last um, plant shopping video in Brooklyn, I picked this guy up at Nelly's. Oh, the undersides. They're so pretty. Okay, anyway. I'm saving the most surprising for last, but next on the list. Oh, my ZZ. She's on the list, too. I told myself, and I said this in another video. It's over here, Jackie. That I didn't need a regular one. But I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. So, I have one. I never thought that I would love a regular ZZ the way that I love this one. But she just, the leaves are so big and tall. And girl, she's just beautiful. The next plant I never thought I would own, let alone love, is this <sighs> traded trade scantia tra I don't know how to say it, you guys. Like, I feel like this is... I always say it with an N, like tran Trangiscantia, tran But there's no N there, and I don't know why. I've been saying it like that. Tra this is a Nanook. <laughs> She's a little flappy right now. She needs a drink, which I didn't realize until I just picked her up. I just sworn I just watered her, but... She's very dry. This is my larger plant. I have a smaller one in the greenhouse that has way more, like pinky purpley color to the leaves but this one's still really nice too and I really like it in this pot she looks like she has a funky little hairdo and she's super cute and she brings me joy every day that I get to look at her when she's not floppy like this but look at it I love this pot and um I just think she looks really stinking cute in here and these are super easy to grow I have her on the interior of my room getting some just like ambient light from like grow lights and windows and stuff so they don't need tons of light but I think that if you give them more then they will get more of this like pinky purpley color. I think it looks purple. Everyone says it's pink but to me it looks more purple. Another plant that I honestly never expected to love. As much as I, I, it might be the pot, honestly. It's just, she's really cute. I just was never really attracted much to these plants and the way that they grow and the way that their leaves feel. They're kind of like rubbery, but she cute as hell. So, she look a little sad, but she'll be fine. These plants are like really hard to kill. So I think that's why they're recommended as like a beginner plant for sure. The Nanook is harder to find, but I have been finding um, Trending Tropicals. Costa Farms has been selling like big things of it. And don't be discouraged if it looks sad. If it has like any viable new growth that feel doesn't feel like floppy and damaged, then you can rescue that plant for sure. So don't give up on the sad no, no, because I've seen so many of them in Lowe's and stuff, and it breaks my heart because she's beautiful, and I paid, like, $5 less for this plant than you would pay for, like, a larger one in this size pot. So the last genus that I, honest to God, never thought that I was going to get into, I mean, listen, I have some varieties that are stunning that I always hoped to acquire one day when I had like a better space for plants like that but like you know the common ones that you see literally in every single store every single grocery store like it's gross they're everywhere I just I always thought that the flowers were weird I wasn't attracted to them I my cat is bugging out right now I gotta show you what are you doing Wait, what are you doing? Are we okay now? I'm sorry if the frame looks off or different. But yeah, I always was kind of uncomfortable even by the flowers on this plant. But I did always find myself attracted to the shape of the foliage and the colors and like the very slight veining in them so i'm gonna stop talking about it and i'm just gonna show you this regular degular ass anthurium that i bought that 
um, didn't have any flowers on it. So I actually, this is a red anthurium. I got this on clearance at Lowe's for $3. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll try it. It already had all the flowers cut off, which is probably why it was on clearance. And um, I just really like the shape of the leaves. This is like the most common plant that I've walked by a thousand times and was never really interested in. I mean, like I said, I always do enjoy the shape this like elongated heart shape, but the flowers always threw me off. They really, really threw me off. Like they're really uncomfortable to look at. And then it started happening around October of last year when I started seeing these in the store around Halloween time, I guess because of the black flowers. So Gothic plant alert was on high and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> plant is actually really cool and even the leaves are like much darker than on this one if you can tell there aren't very many leaves on it because the baby plant they're much darker and honestly it kind of planted that seed in my head where i was like mm, sort of growing on me a little bit and then i don't know i got that one and when I brought it home and added it to my collection, I really, really loved the look of it. So when I saw this one, I was like, you know, it's not a bad plan. It's not a bad plan. I don't think it was expensive. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was from Lowe's as well. And then I got this pot for $12.98. It's really cute. It's clay from Urban Jungle and it has like a little drainage hole like in here. This isn't the plant that came in the pot. It actually came with this little fern that I gave to my mom because she um, overwaters her plants. So I figured she could probably keep a fern alive. I threw this anthurium in there temporarily. It's not, it needs a more gothic pot. This isn't the right pot. So, I mean, that's it for this video, you guys. I. Hope that you enjoyed it. What is that? If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me and Crash, of course. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.